stomach ulcers are prevalent. While many individuals experience painful signs, some do not. This is a problem because a stomach ulcer can cause significant problems if left untreated. Therefore, it's essential to learn to detect the signs of a potential stomach ulcer in your body. So, stay tuned to PARS Health TV. Before we start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to get more informative videos. Fortunately, your doctor can quickly treat stomach ulcers once you find out you have one. This video will help you understand the varieties of stomach ulcers, what causes them, and what treatments they have. What are stomach ulcers? Stomach ulcers, also named peptic ulcers, are open sores that can expand in the inside lining of your stomach. They can also start on the upper area of your small intestine. Peptic ulcers have various names depending on where they're found in the body, gastric ulcers if they exist in the stomach and duodenal ulcers when they are in the small intestine. Stomach ulcers occur when the acid in your digestive tract consumes the inner texture of the organ, causing a sore to create. Just like a sore outside the body, this can be painful and hard to heal. Usually, the body's digestive tract is coated with a thick mucus layer that controls this from occurring. When the acid level rises or this mucus thins, you could form an ulcer. Causes The acidity and decline of the stomach lining that causes ulcers can be forced by several things. A bacterium called Helicobacter pylori, H. pylori. Certain seasons, such as the winter holidays, can also increase your chances due to heightened tension and richer food intake. Factors like genetics, smoking, specific diets, or chronic stress. Long-term usage of non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, like Advil or Motrin, can negatively influence your stomach lining. A rare disorder called Zollingerellison syndrome leads to hyperacidity. The side effect of other medications. Today, H. pylori cause almost 95% of all duodenal ulcers and approximately 70% of all gastric ulcers. Contrary to what you might have heard, consuming spicy foods and acute examples of stress do not cause peptic ulcers to form, although they can aggravate your symptoms. Signs of stomach ulcers. Several symptoms should warn you of the issue if you've developed a stomach ulcer. Here are the seven main symptoms you should look for. Indigestion. This is the most common symptom of a stomach ulcer. Heartburn. If you're experiencing acid reflux often, it could be because of an ulcer. Dull burning. You will feel this in your stomach when it's empty of food. Bloatedness. You may feel full even when your stomach is empty. Triggered flare-ups. Your signs may suddenly flare after consuming foods that are high in fat. Black stools. The dark color could show that an ulcer in your digestive tract is bleeding. Nausea. You may feel unwell first thing in the morning or when your stomach is empty. As we said earlier, you may not have signs at all in some cases. On the flip side, the severity of your signs could put you in the hospital. Severe signs of a peptic ulcer may include Vomiting blood Feeling faint Trouble breathing Any symptoms of a stomach ulcer should drive you to take a trip to the doctor. These diseases, particularly severe, will simply not get better on their own. If left untreated, a stomach ulcer can aggravate until it breaks through the stomach wall. This is called a perforation, and it's severe. Some of the other complications of an untreated stomach ulcer are Internal bleeding that can cause anemia Gastric cancer The obstacle of food passing through the digestive tract Peritonitis is an intestinal infection generated by ulcer perforation Can stomach ulcers be treated? Yes, stomach ulcers can heal well with a medication regimen. The kind of treatment will depend on what generated your ulcer. Suppose your stomach ulcer was caused by an H. pylori bacterial infection. In that case, you'd likely have antibiotics and a proton pump inhibitor, PPI, medication. The antibiotics could include Amoxyl, Amoxicillin, Flagyl, Metronidazole, Biaxin, Clarithromycin, Tindamax, Tinidazole, Tetracycline. The PPIs that you will also be prescribed will block the production of stomach acid. There are both medical and over-the-counter PPI medications, including Prilosec, Omeprazole, 
Nexium, Esomeprazole. Protonix, Pantoprazole. Prevacid, Lensoprazole. You may also take histamine blockers, or H2 blockers, that decrease the stomach acid released into your digestive tract. The lessening of stomach acid can boost healing and reduce the pain you may feel. Your doctor may prescribe these, or you could take over-the-counter medications such as Axid R, Nizatidine, Tagamet HB, Sametidine, Pepsid AC, Famotidine. Your doctor may also prescribe antacids to help with signees. There are also drugs called cytoprotective agents to protect the lining of your stomach, like caraphate, sucralfate, and cytotec, misoprostol. Are there foods I should avoid if I have a stomach ulcer? Interestingly, there is no exact diet that an individual with ulcers requires to follow. The current suggestions are less about the foods you should avoid and more about foods that will help you reduce the risk of developing an ulcer in the first place. If you've formed a stomach ulcer or are at risk of developing one, you should have more of these foods in your diet. Plenty of water, leafy greens, and fermented probiotic foods have all been clinically shown to help lessen your risk of developing ulcers. Fruits and veggies that are full of anti-inflammatory antioxidants. Probiotics that have active bacterial properties, such as yogurt, enhance digestion. Nuts, halibut, and yellowfin tuna all contain selenium to improve your ability to heal. Spinach, oysters, and beef include zinc to help you sustain a healthy immune system. During the holiday season, you will want to take extra care of yourself and pay attention to your anxiety levels. Talk with your doctor about whether adding a probiotic supplement could help you. On the other hand, if you have acid reflux in addition to a stomach ulcer, some foods may activate your acid reflux. In these examples, it's a good idea to avoid alcohol and coffee, as well as spicy and acidic foods, which could drive your pain to increase. We appreciate you tuning in. Have a great day.